Next at 6 in Rock County, more tourism dollars are pouring into the area from an unlikely source. Local and regional nonprofit groups are stepping up. Here's Margot Spann in the News Center with more. Margot. That's right, Eric. Many corporations have cut back their travel expenses while nonprofits are seeing face value in meeting face to face. Volunteers are busy transforming Thresherman Park in Edgerton for the Friends of Noah Canine Carnival and 5K Rescue Run. The nonprofit group raises money to support rescue animals. The event is in its second year. Organizer Mike Truesdale says it draws animal lovers from throughout the region. We have people um, that I personally know of that are coming from Milwaukee, Waukesha, DeKalb, Illinois, uh, Rockford, Freeport. Uh, one person's coming down from Minnesota. If we have 500 people that come for the day, and if each of them just spends $50 while they're here, that's $25,000 of revenue that this community wouldn't have had if the event didn't take place here in Rock County. The executive director of Janesville's Convention and Visitors Bureau says tourism is up 10 to 12 percent thanks to nonprofit groups like Friends of NOAA. It's why staff also started providing non-traditional services to accommodate the groups. We actually have dog treat packages that we give out to groups like this, and that was something we never did with a corporate meeting. We didn't have to worry about having dog treats for attendees. Christine Rebout says the nonprofits are helping the area economically bounce back. We saw meetings and conferences drop off a great deal in 2008, 2009, and we're looking for that way to climb back even though corporations aren't ready. And we see these nonprofits groups as a great way to start building that tourism trend upwards. The Friends of NOAA say they're just proud to be helping. It's a fun thing for the people to do in Rock County with their dogs. Um, there's not a lot of things to do in Rock County with your dog, so we thought this would be a perfect opportunity. Last year, only about 25% of the groups looking for meeting space in Janesville were nonprofits. Now it's more than 60%. All right, Margo, thank you very much.